Susie Milano on the new look for Mammoth football. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, Christmas came early for the Hawks this year. Yesterday, Coach Callahan called them in for an early morning meeting around 9 o'clock, only held them for about five minutes, and then sent them down to the locker room. When they opened the locker room, there was a mannequin there decked out head to toe in the new uniforms that you see them wearing today, the gray on gray with the white helmets, and the guys went absolutely nuts, took their phones out, were jumping around, screaming, cheering, taking Snapchats, posting Instagram stories. Reggie White Jr. even FaceTimed his dad, and one of the players even even took the new helmet home with him to sleep with last night. So they're pretty excited. Now this is the first time that Monmouth has played with white helmets since 2003 and the first time that they've had a choice between two different helmets ever. Guys, you had a chance to chat with both coaches at halftime. For Bucknell, Coach Susan mentioned that he needs his defense to stop giving up those big plays, but he is really happy with the fact that they've been able to force those turnovers, considering that was one of the keys to his game today. He also said this is a great game between these two squads. And for Monmouth, Coach Callahan said that he likes the defense, but offensively, they need to finish their drives. Too many turnovers for them. They've proven that they can move the ball, so they need to take advantage. Guys? Thanks, Matt. Yeah, it's not every day that you have an international student athlete on your your college football roster, but Simon Krijak, the 305 pound offensive lineman for Bucknell is from Germany. We asked coach Susan how he got to recruiting him and he said a while back he recorded, recruited Bjorn Warren who went on to be an All-American at Florida State, but they kept their relationship alive and healthy and he has done a great job of helping uh, kids in Germany get opportunities out in the United States. So he called up coach Susan and said, hey, you got to check out this kid and it's all history from there. So Coach Susan said he's a great addition to this program. You know, he's a really smart guy. He's got a mind for the game. There's really no language barriers right now. They do have a tough time understanding his accent every once in a while, but not the other way around. And he's made it very clear that he's not too crazy about the food over here in the U.S. Guys. Coach, outstanding game today and an outstanding effort from your defense today. Outstanding game for Evan Powell. Tymir Berry had a couple huge plays there in the fourth. What was it about your defense today that kind of lit that spark for you guys? Well, I, I don't know. They were highly motivated coming off our last game where they didn't feel that they performed up to the level that we're capable of. And it was good to see a lot of different players make plays at key times. You know, Evan's interception really got us back in the ball game and set up the go-ahead score. And then Tymir made two big plays on third and fourth down. And then, you know, Juwan Ferry on offense, uh, two terrific runs there late in the game. Uh, it, it just shows that we have some playmakers on this team. We've just got to work, continue to work on being more consistent. And speaking of offense, another huge game for Reggie White Jr. today. Seems like he sets records every week. What is it like for you to see a player like him have so much success? Well, you know, he's just a very talented player. He's somebody who works extremely hard. And, and it's not surprising that he has had the level of success that he's had. And, and just to see him uh, experience the, these records and, and set these records, just, you know, we're very proud of him and very happy for him. Congrats, Coach. Thank you. All right, we're going to chat with Evan Powell now as he finishes up with a fight song here. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> Congratulations, a great game for you today. A huge defensive game, and your interception there in the fourth really lit a spark in your team. Walk us through that interception. What were you seeing? Uh, we just came out of the timeout. It was uh, a big third down play. Uh, we really needed to make a stop. Uh, really just dropped back. Saw the quarterback really looking at me. I didn't, really didn't think he was gonna throw it to me, but. Ended up in my hands. Next thing I know, I'm running with my, all my friends next to me. So, Coach, outstanding game today and an outstanding effort from your defense today. Outstanding game for Evan Powell. Tymir Berry had a couple huge plays there in the fourth. What was it about your defense today that kind of lit that spark for you guys? Well, I, I don't know. They were highly motivated coming off our last game where they didn't feel that they performed up to the level that we're capable of. And it was good to see a lot of different players make plays at key times. You know, Evan's interception really got us back in the ball game and set up the go-ahead score. And then Tymir made two big plays on third and fourth down. And then, you know, Juwan Ferry on offense, uh, two terrific runs there late in the game. Uh, it, it just shows that we have some playmakers on this team. We've just got to work, continue to work on being more consistent. And speaking of offense, another huge game for Reggie White Jr. today. Seems like he sets records every week. What is it like for you to see a player like him have so much success? Well, you know, he's just a very talented player. He's somebody who works extremely hard. And, and it's not surprising that he has had the level of success that he's had. And, and just to see him uh, experience the, these records and, and set these records, just, you know, we're very proud of him and very happy for him. Congrats, Coach. Thank you. All right, we're going to chat with Evan Powell now 
as he finishes up with a fight song here. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> Congratulations, a great game for you today. A huge defensive game, and your interception there in the fourth really lit a spark in your team. Walk us through that interception. What were you seeing? Uh, we just came out of the timeout. It was uh, a big third down play. Uh, we really needed to make a stop. Uh, really just dropped back. Saw the quarterback really looking at me. I didn't, really didn't think he was going to throw it to me, but ended up in my hands. Next thing I know, I'm running with my, all my friends next to me. So I wish I went farther, but, you know, it's a – Big play, and I can't thank my teammates enough. And another win at home. What are you taking away from this one as you guys prepare for homecoming next week? Uh, another big one, but as we said, uh, this game is these games so far have really been preparing us for this next couple of weeks. We got a big, big, uh, big league games this upcoming week, the next couple following. So it's a very big win to go into these next couple of weeks with a head high, heads high and just ready to play. Thanks. Congrats. Thank you.